What's going on, the fellow YouTubers? It's Chris back with you guys with another moon video. This time, this one here will blow your mind. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Clementine mission, uh, you're going to like this. This is cool. Um, I will not go over everything on this photo because it's basically a whole, it's almost like a panorama, if you will, of the whole moon. It's been laid out flat for you guys to really have a look at this thing. But let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the photo in, in question. Well, not in question. This is the photo we'll be examining. Um, but this is awesome because the way they did this photo, um, it was done by different wavelengths. They've done, done it in several different ways. But anyway, this is the where you can get it, get it from. And, of course, you'll get the link. Uh, and you can download maximum size, sample, blow on, blah, 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 blah. And, of course, they have TIFF images as well. And you can see them right here on the right-hand side, which they are, look at, 236. Quite large photo, uh, uh, files there, so but just check it out. Um, but anyway, it says the Clementine Ultraviolet, Keep that in mind. Visible or the UVVIS version 2 mosaic is a grayscale, grayscale rather, data set representing the albedo, which is the brightness of the lunar surface, as measured at the uh, 750 nanometer wavelength by the U.S. Okay. So anyway, uh, you can read that. That's basically where you can get the thing. So I'm not going to stay too long on that. Um, let me see. You can go in. Then you can jump into this. This is this is you're going to like this. This is pretty cool. Um, Clementine officially called the Deep Space Program Science uh, Experiment, or the DSPSE, uh, was a joint space project between the Ballistic Missile Defense Organization, or the BMDO. Hmm, imagine that. Um, previously, the Strategic Defense Initiative Organization, or the SDIO, uh, uh, and NASA, launched on uh, January 25th, 1994. And you can read all of this about this. They wanted to go and check out an asteroid, too. It's called 1620 Geographos. Um, but everything you need to know about it, here's a spacecraft on the right, um, and 115 days mission, blah, 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 blah. But this is what I thought was cool. I was more kind of centered around how they took the photos and what they meant, uh, uh, as far as wavelength wise, um, ultraviolet, so on and so forth. But anyway, let me take it on here. It tells you about all the cameras, what they were doing as far as, uh, science instruments and all this other good stuff, near infrared CCD. Uh, laser uh, image detection and rain, uh, ranging, which is basically, you know, they call it LIDAR or LIDAR, depending on how you want to pronounce it, uh, system. And what that did was they said they can find out the distance from, uh, you know, the craft itself to any part of the lunar surface or whether it be inside a crater, what have you. Um, but this is what I found a little interesting. When you jump down, it says four orthographic views of the moon. Now, I wasn't quite sure what orthographic meant, so let's have a look. So... In, in short, it's orthographic projection or ortho, orthogonal projection is a means of representing a three-dimensional object in two dimensions. I'm thinking to myself, okay, if you wanted to look at every every bit of this lunar surface, meaning topographical or uh, so on and so forth, wouldn't you want it to be in 3D as much as possible? Or was that kind of kicked off of the public and that they got the more three-dimensional images, if you will? So, okay, so that kind of puzzled me. Now, ultraviolet, if you go back to this, uh, ultraviolet, and you can see what that means, electromagnetic ra uh, it says of electromagnetic radiation, having a wavelength shorter than that of the violet end uh, of the visible spectrum, but longer than that of x-rays. Well, we all know what x-rays does. You can see through things, um, which just keep that in mind. And so then I'm looking at it again. I went down a little further. I went by, by static radar experiment. Huh. We haven't heard that before. That's right. I did a video on that. And it was, uh, it was actually got to do with uh, uh, Mayor Seren uh, Serentatis, or if you will, Sea of Serenity. Um, so check this out. <laughs> this, is this is cool. But anyway, you can read about that. And it says, uh, basically, it says that the Clementine probes, uh, the transmitter and everything, was directed right at the North or South Pole, depending on which one they were looking at. And what it would do is just bounce the signal back off to the Deep Space Network or two uh, receivers on here on Earth, which are basically giant radio telescope dishes. So... Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying, where did I hear that before? Before that's right. Hmm. NASA radar images uncover remarkable features below the surface of the moon. I did a video on this, and I'm going to show you this up close because here it is. There's one, and well, I think it was uh, yeah, it was that one there. But the observations were able to see, if you will, approximately 33 to 50 feet below the lunar surface. So. I think the photo that we're seeing, I'm going to present again, which is uh, basically from Clementine, the stretched out, laid out photo, or the moon itself, um, was also taken in bi-static. 
this is the reason why a lot of people don't see. They go, well, Chris, I don't see any of this stuff. I, I've got a telescope. I don't see nearly the garbage you're showing. And that's right, because you can't see below the surface. I've got a telescope. I can't. I know that for a fact. So let's check this out real quick. Okay, there's the one we're going to check out, but check this out. This is the photo up close from that site I just showed you, which is from, and you can see it here, from Astronomy Magazine or Astronomy.com. And there it is. Here it is. Now, I, I didn't even have to do a thing to this photo. I went, oh, my God, this looks like a city. If it was taking a picture from, like, let's say from Earth, and you were, you were in space and they took a snapshot of a city here on Earth, that's what it looks like to me. Now, let me go ahead and just enhance this thing. And it's like, boom, what? Have a look at this, guys. This is, at, I think, 110% 100, right now. I could just take my magnifier right now. And, of course, you guys are always invited to do that. And always use, use the little pieces if you can or your jeweler eyepieces. This thing is the bomb. This is what you want. And when you go over this area right here, right in this area alone, wow. There's actual structures that are high up in the air. You can see them. This is the reason why you enhance things. You don't want to see a 2D image. You want to see a 3D. You want things to pop. You want to see shadows if there's any. You want to see depth if you can. You want to see this stuff. And when you go up over here, this is what's crazy. When you look at this picture here, I want to just bounce here real quick. When you look at this one right, uh, well, let's go to this one. Well, this one here. Um, here you go. With, this is your Pasadonius crater, and you've got Sea of Serenity. When you see this, there's one two, three. Let's just look at those. And of course, it's slightly, this is more counterclockwise, this picture, than the photo we're seeing. Um, large, small, and small. Okay, let's have a look. I'll go back to this. Large, small, and small. These are there. And then you got one from here to over here. Let's see if that one's there. Maybe it's not. Oh, yes, it is. One, two, three. And then you've got the one over here, and you've got one way down, well, six o'clock from that one. Let's have a look. Well, I'll be damned. It's right there. Boom, boom, boom. They're all there. But when you have a look at this photo, you look at this particular one here with an eyepiece, it literally has a perfect circle surrounding the base of it. Literally a perfect circle going all the way around this thing. I believe that these, these craters on the surface are their ways in and out of these cities. Now, of course, this is pure speculation, of course. But when you look at these right here, there's one... Two, they appear to be off the ground. Almost like if you were living under the ground, these things would be these giant tunnels or passageways from the lunar surface down into the city. Is that true? No way to vet it, and I'm just pure speculation. Now, when you look at these, just look around real slowly in all of these areas. My God, this stuff is everywhere. These structures, and you can see the brighter spots, so on and so forth. They could be lights. We don't know. Okay. So this is where I see by, by static, it shows detail that you would never see in a million years with your telescope because it's below the surface. And I believe this picture is the same way. Now, let's jump into that one because, like I said, I don't want to waste too much time. But without doing a thing to this photo, there are giant domes on this moon. I'm going to show you two right off the bat. And then platforms would look like they have other things built up on top of them. Don't have to do a thing to this photo, guys. Watch this. Of course, I'm really zoomed in. I'm, I forget exactly how much that is, but let's let's jump out of it just a little bit. Check this out. There's one sitting right there, and it appears if this is supposed to be a crater, which you do have the crater wall, so on. Why does that look domed? And of course, we're going to zoom in. Of course, you know what's going to happen, right? It's going to break apart. But you can see that it looks like it has light reflecting off of it. So we got that one. But check this out. You can see what looks like all of these smaller craters, if you will. Okay, I can go with smaller craters to a certain degree, but there's things that are clearly, they're like on platforms. They're small and have very large pieces on them. And they appear, and I've, I've done videos in the past, guys. You guys can check them out and just recently, some moon uh, uh, videos. And these things look like they're off the ground. They don't even look like they're on the ground. And usually it's these white s platforms with these whatever may be on top. Everything from antenna uh, to different structures, whether it be, I call them like Twinkie shape, but domed, I mean, you name it, it's there. Why would they be on uh, off the ground? Um, here's another one. This thing looks like it's huge. Check this out, the way this thing looks. And it has like reflections, but it also has whiter pieces, almost like picture the flat, the flat uh, uh, platform this thing's on. It's all built up. Well, the, the very tall pieces are probably going to get the morning sun, the afternoon sun, where the lower parts probably would not. So, 
And you can see what looks like a crater or something off that. But look at the size of whatever the hell's on it. And only a small base. Seems a little, excuse me, it seems a little bizarre to me, guys, if you ask me. Here's another cool spot. When you look at this in a, in a moment, you're going to see some crazy things in here. But watch this. So let's jump to, let's darken this right up. And I'm going to show you this a little better now. Check this little dome out. Well, when I say little, I mean, you look at this thing. It's still good size. It's right there. Look at the size of that thing. Right there. And then this other one right here. Well, let's go back in. And I'm going to look at this real carefully. Check that out. It literally looks like it's kind of reflective. It's got like a reflective surface on it right here on the right-hand side, right in the middle. And it looks more of a glassy dome than it does, um, than it does look like a crater, which you would assume like this would be right here on the top. That, to me, is a crater. This, to me, is a dome. This is a platform. And these things are everywhere. Now, again, let's jump over to this one. And again, it has that kind of a glassy look to it as opposed to See how, like, you can see the very top. Like, this would be the most elevated pieces inside this this uh, domed area, if you will. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. When you go back out of this, zoom back out, and look at it with your magnifiers, especially these eyepieces. These things, I love these. You will see stuff that's phenomenal. Get these if you can. The five times uh, magnification uh, jeweler's eyepieces. These are awesome. Got to have. These are must have. Even with the regular photos with Mars. Anything of that sort, you need these because you don't want to always zoom in because, uh, again, photos have a tendency to uh, have photo degradation when you zoom in. So anyway, so I'm going to just back out. And all you got to do is just look at these right now. I'm going to do this right now. All inside here and just look around. All inside these areas, there's tons of structures. Now, again, people will say, what are you talking about? I don't see this stuff. And you're absolutely right. I totally agree with you. Couldn't agree with you more. Problem is, this is not on the lunar surface. They're either using, like I said, ultraviolet or that or actual bi-static radar, period, or a combination. They can use a different and have a composite photo, and they can overlay. This way, this way they're seeing more and more of these uh, features they, they want to see. Um, this is the reason why you don't see all these little intricate little pieces all over the place. Now, this right here, this is what I was talking about earlier. Got these square pieces, all kinds of weird. Just have a look. I mean, there's no way. Look at this. Giant pieces, small, almost perfect round bases. More of an octagon-shaped base. And I can back out of it just a little bit and just have a look. Now, to me, this starts breaking up even at where I'm at now. I don't like doing that. I like to be around 66%, maybe 100% tops. And this is where you're going to see some incredible stuff. Look at this thing. Almost like a completely blacked-out dome if you will, right there. Even if I was to do this, see, it's still blacked out. But these, and you're going to see all of these little pieces inside here, they look like structures. Now they don't because we're zoomed in and everything just starts to break apart. But this looks like it's completely built up, meaning it's like really tall on this small platform. Now, of course, there's no way to vet that. There's no way to actually see, you know, actual depth of this or the height, if you will. So, but check this one out. Again, the same thing. Now, when you bring this back out and then look at it with your eyepieces, oh, my God. And this thing is, this stuff is everywhere, man. Uh, where did I see this other one? This was cool. i got to show you this. I think it was. Uh, I'm going to guess here. I'm going to be right over here, I think it was. Oh, right here, this whole area. This is neat. This is absolutely neat. Have a look at that thing with your eyepiece. Oof. Holy mother of God. It looks like framework and all kinds of little structures all inside. When I say little, I mean they're probably pretty darn large. But what we're seeing is a lot smaller. Um, now, again, this is going to start to break apart, which is no good. Um, even this will be sharpened. We don't want to do that. But bring it back out so it's not distorted. It starts to pixelate and come apart. And then have a look at that thing. Oh, my God. But this photo is so large, there's no way I could go over it, guys. I mean, this stuff is everywhere. And it's not that it's so much on the lunar surface, what we're seeing. It's below it. And this is the reason why you're not seeing nearly the stuff you would think you would see. Um, all in here. Check out all of this area right in here, just this alone. Even with your, your regular mag glasses. Oh, my God. Here. Perfectly round with a square, like a flat piece right there. Can you see that? Perfectly flat. How does a... Now, how does a crater do that, guys? Nice and round all the way around until it gets to the bottom. 
and it's completely flat. There's no way that can happen in nature. And I mean, this thing has like a 90-degree angle. Look at it. It goes down like this. It goes circles, comes around, boom. Perfect 90-degree, comes around. Come on, guys. Come on. There's just no way. And all of this stuff is just, oh. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. But it actually literally goes around, comes down a little bit, boom. Perfect 90-degree, and then flat. These things are not craters. This thing right here, if you were to back out and just have a look with your high-powered mags, oh, man. 66, maybe 100%. Have a look at that stuff. Wow. It's all over this moon. Or I should say in this moon, the interior. Maybe this moon is actually hollow. And this is what we're seeing. All of these cities are actually here. I don't know how many photos I've seen, or videos rather, from amateur astronomers where they literally have seen like what looks like little dots coming right out of these craters. Are they actually entrance and, and, and entranceways into the underground of this moon? Good possibility. Is there any way to vet that? No, I can't. Um, but this stuff is this, this is the reason why you don't see a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, Chris. Well, you're not going to. Uh, as simple as that. Um, another one here. Look at this. Now, these do look like craters when you look at them, but when you take a really good look at them, wow. These white things here, these are platforms. These are, I think they're just large domes, cities, or whatever they may be. And then all these little pieces and little bits all in between here is what you want to see. This, to me, is a crater. Makes absolute sense. No argument there whatsoever. This is a very large crater, but what's in it is a whole different ball game. Um, this is a large crater. Okay, and you get the crater wall. But what's inside this thing is a dome. And... Like I said, when you look around, you can see what looks like many domes or look like glass appearance, if you will, with a reflection and what looks like structures on it. I can look at this dome right now with my eyepiece, and I can see what looks like a bunch of structures. There's three of them huge laying right here. At least they appear three. There could be many, but because, like I said, I've done that um, uh, Staten Island, uh, uh, you know, this picture where I actually took Staten Island with a super clear picture and just blurred it. And anything that looked like five structures suddenly became like two. I mean, it was just bizarre. So have a look at that, guys. Check this thing out. I will give you subsections of this thing. I'll break it down for you guys so you can really have a look. Um, but get this thing yourself. Um, I'll give you this whole photo. Then I'm going to give you broken, broken down. We'll probably do one, two, three, four, maybe sections of it. And let you eyeball these things because, my God, this stuff is everywhere. I believe this moon is a construct. And let me just show you that real quick because I think you'll like this. Um, I thought this was kind of bizarre. And maybe it's just me. Um, let me see. Uh, I could probably do it this way. I don't know if I can. Um, let me see. Okay, let's just do. Um, uh, let's do. Hmm, let's say. Uh, let's put Sea of Serenity. Uh, whoops. There we go. I will just go ahead and check this out. This is what I found really crazy. Now, I don't know if you guys see this, but, you know, for some reason you don't see it on a lot of uh, NASA photos, but you will see it on here. Why is it that when you look at it, of course, this is probably a small picture. It probably will be a small. Okay. Um, let's do it better this way. Let's go back out. Um, well, check this out. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Why is it that every photo looks like this is shadowed? Do you see that? It's all shadowed from this top section. Now, when you look at the ones from NASA, it may be a small ridge that we're seeing, and maybe because the sun's coming from this direction, from top right to bottom left, or left corner, that we're seeing that this small ridge appears to be a lot bigger. That's a possibility. But this also looks like this is much lower than the regular lunar surface. And this is everywhere. Like, you can look at this one, not so much. You know what I mean? I don't see anything. It just looks like maybe curvature, which is possible. Uh, maybe just trick of light, so to speak. But there's a lot of photos here, guys, that actually echo the same thing. Uh, even though this one's kind of pixelated. But look, it actually has this round piece, round piece of, what is it? Pasadonius Crater. Um, but look at it. It looks like it has this shadow. And it, it literally echoes the shape of this part of the lunar surface, if you will. Um, just look at any one of these. It's just bizarre. I believe this moon is a sort of a construct. Uh, there's another small one. But again... Or is it just the actual area here? Now, uh, right here, it looks like, it's almost like it's a mirror or glass, 
um, and that these cities are blown. Is this the reason why they decided to take radar images, by static radar, by static uh, radar images? I'll get it out, I promise. Um, or the ultraviolet. Maybe they wanted to see through this what looks like glass or thin layer or whatever they may call it. There's got to be a reason. And if you think about it, what's the best way to get heat into the place? Well, if it's a form of glass, somewhere heat can be, it's, it's transparent to heat, get sun in, heats up the underground, it's a beautiful day, baby. So everything gets, and they can maybe, who knows, maybe they can do like we can do now. I've, I've seen some cars now where they're coming out where they can, you can hit a button and it tints your glass for you. Kind of like your LCD watch. This is based on the same thing. Boom, hit a switch, boom, clear windows. Hit the switch again, tinted. How do we know they can't vary, vary that? How do we know? We don't. Um, so, I mean, I think we would notice that, but I think this is the reason why they do that. So, uh, they, they've taken these radar images and such of the moon because of this. And uh, like I said, I just look at this and I just go, why, why does almost every photo show some kind of like depth more than what NASA shows? But anyway, you guys can tell me what you think. And like I said, I think this here, uh, if that don't look like a city underneath, I don't know what does. And this is not something I made up, of course. This is actually in right here. And you can click on it, and it'll show you, it'll show you the picture. There you go. This is not something I made up. This was actually taken. This was, uh, the, it was transmitted from Arecibo in Puerto Rico and bounced back to the GB, uh, GB what the hell was it? Uh, right here at the Green Banks Telescope here in uh, West Virginia. So, oh, the GBT. I was, I was going to say it right the first time. But so sent from Arecibo, back here to West Virginia, the GBT uh, uh, radio telescope here. So this is here, man. I didn't do this. Here you go. This looks like a city you would see at night. Tell me I'm lying. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it much longer. we got to rock and roll anyway. So you guys tell me what you think it is. Share the video. Put the comments down below. Most important to me. And uh, look for these pictures uh, within a day or two up on my Google+. Anyway, guys, you guys have yourself a good day, and I will see you in the next video.